For ELA today, you need to click on activities. Assign to class folder. Red ELA. Our task for today is called solutions for hail and blizzards. You need to find this task right now. Open it up, please. And I want you to read the facts on slide number one. That is your first job. Read the facts on slide number one. All right, we are ready to do our reading lesson for today. A reminder from these facts from yesterday, humans cannot stop weather hazards. We cannot stop natural disasters from occurring, but we know that engineers can create solutions. Engineers can create solutions that help with the damage or they help prevent a lot of damage from occurring. Click on slide number two, please. Today, we're going to introduce a new natural disaster that we experience here in a temperate climate. In a temperate climate, we have cold winters and warm summers. In our cold winters and sometimes even our warm summers, we experience something called a hail storm. We are going to watch this video on slide number two by ourselves. And I want every person putting at least one idea in their head about something they remember from the video. What's something you learn about hail storms from the video? You have a couple minutes to push play on site number two, listen to the video, and think of one thing you learned from the video. Ready, go. After we watched our video, it's time for us to go into a breakout room and share one thing we heard in the video. What is one thing, one idea you know about hailstorms? I'm going to put you into your breakout room. Everyone should be ready to share their one idea about hailstorms. On slide three, we have a couple jobs we're going to do. On slide four through nine, you will see a text about hail storms. Our first job is to highlight. With purple, you're going to highlight the impact hail storms have on human life. Just like yesterday, we're going to use purple to identify evidence. How does a hailstorm impact our life as humans? We're going to start with purple and we're going to look for evidence as we read through our slides. Starting on slide number four. Thank you for lots of screens that are on slide number four, ready to go. You are rock stars. Have your purple highlight tool ready. As I read, I want you looking for evidence. How does hail impact humans and our life? Here we go. A hailstorm is wild weather. When the clouds go very high, the rain gets frozen into hailstones. The hailstones can hurt people. They can break the windows of a car. The biggest ones are as big as a ball. Are there any third graders who identified evidence on slide four about the impact on human life? Day. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you, Day. Day shared the hailstones can hurt people. So we have highlighted in purple our evidence for how hailstorms impact human life. We are looking for evidence. Ashley. They can break the windows of a car. Say it again, Ashley. They can break the windows of a car. They can break the windows of a car. A car is something humans use and it creates damage and a problem for us. Great evidence for slide number four. Please click on slide number five. Still keeping your purple highlights already. Slide number five. How it forms. And storm clouds that are filled with water droplets and wind. Waterfall and the wind and pushes the, the droplets up to the tops of the clouds. It is cold up there, and the drops get an icy coat. I don't hear any evidence about human life, so let's move on to slide number six. On page number six, your purple highlight. The balls of ice fall back down and the wind pushes them up again. They bounce around like ping pong balls. Each time they go to the top of the clouds, they get another layer of ice. I still don't hear evidence about human life and the impact on us. Let's go to slide number seven. Eventually, the ice balls become too heavy for the wind to blow them back up. They fall around as hail stones. Hail falls fast from the sky. Baseball size hail can travel 90 miles per hour. Can you imagine a ball of ice? Size of a baseball. If that thing flying through the sky, that would be dangerous. Click on slide number eight. On slide number eight, our text continues. You can cut open a hailstone and see how many times it made it to the tops of the cloud. Look at these text features here. Check out the text feature. Each ring is another layer of ice that was added. Some hail has just a few layers, but others have many. So each ring of ice means it went up to the top of the cloud again. Go to slide number nine, please. Hail damage. Hail only lasts a few minutes, but the damage can be great. It can break windows and, and ruin roofs. roofs. It can dent cars, cars and, and destroy farm crops. Some farm crops are wiped out from a hailstorm in just, just a few minutes. Hail can cause injury to people too. So be sure to get inside if hail is heading your way. Like number nine, I do hear evidence about human life being impacted. Gloria, what do you hear? Um, so that it bent cars. It can mm -hmm. bend and destroy cars. Your purple highlight tool to highlight it can dent our cars. And here's a photograph of some evidence. Looking for other evidence. Ashley. It, hail can injure people too. Say it again, please. Hail can cause injury to people too. It can cause injury to people. If an ice ball hits you, you can get hurt. Slide number 10, please. 
How else does it impact human life? Kaylee Cole, do you have something? Sorry, Kaylee, I can't hear you. Yeah. Um, the damage can be. It can break windows and rain roof. Yeah. Kaylee and I just talked about this. It can break windows or ruin the roof of your house. I, my parents had to get a new roof one time on their home because of hail storms. The hail damaged their roof and the roof wasn't safe anymore. We had to buy a new roof. So the damage can be very expensive and a big hassle for people to figure out. Gloria, did you find more? It destroys farm crops. We know our food comes from farmers. And if the hail goes and destroys the crops like this evidence here, we may not have enough food at the grocery to buy. That's a big problem. Thank you for looking for the impact of human, of hailstones on humans. On slide number three, we have our next job. Slide number three, we're going to do number two. It says highlight the impact hailstorms have on the environment. Now we're going to use red, just like yesterday. Get your red highlight tool. And you're going to go through these hailstorm texts. You are going to look for evidence. How do hailstorms impact the environment? Yesterday we talked about what that word means. Environment means the ground, the air, vegetation like plants and trees, and animals. You have five minutes in a breakout room to read slides four through nine using your red highlight tool you will highlight any evidence how do hailstorms impact the environment you have five minutes with your red highlight tool in our breakout rooms we looked for the impact on the environment. There was not a lot of evidence about that, but I did see some groups being determined to find some evidence. Great job. Go ahead to slide number 10. Look at slide number 10 with me. On slide number 10, we're going to fill out some information using the text evidence. The top box is the weather hazard. It says, what impact does this have on human life and the environment? So we can fill in some information about the damage that is caused. Hail storms do what? Well, I heard that it damages homes and cars. It can hurt people. It can break things like plants. So we can respond with the weather hazard. We can respond with the damage it causes. We can write hailstorms damage homes, comma, cars, comma, Crops, where we get our food, comma, and can injure people. This is the damage that it causes. We're going to put that in the top box where it says weather hazard. Hailstorms damage homes, cars, crops, and can injure people. This is the problem that is caused by this weather hazard. 
type in your response to our red triangle where it says weather hazard danger. Type in the problem just like I have done. After we identify the problem, we know the problem is that it creates damage. So we know engineers can come up with solutions to help protect us, to help protect our property. Engineers create solutions to lessen the damage. So let's look at this next box where it says the solution. Does anybody have any ideas of a solution to this problem. Remember, we can't control when the hail comes. We can't stop the hail from coming. But what could we do so that hail does not damage our homes, our cars, our plants, or if we don't want to get hurt by hail? What type of idea could we come up with? What type of solution could we engineers think of? I see a couple hands that are ready to share. Kaylee, what are you thinking of? If you watch the news, they will tell you if it's coming in there that you can like pick things over your roof and over your car. So maybe Kaylee is going to build something and then we put our cars under it so the hail doesn't hit our car. Okay, so Kaylee's thinking about building something that protects our homes and cars. Angela, what's your idea? My idea is that you can you can cover the house from so Angela says put a cover over your house. Your house is here. I don't know what type of cover Angela's thinking of, but maybe it's even like a thick blanket or something. And the hail would only damage the cover. Good thinking, Angela. There's some other friends um, making sense with a little bit better than others. Nick, what type of solution, if you were the engineer, what could you come up with to protect our bodies, homes, and property? Build up the basement out of homes. The house. Say again, Nick. Get solutions that get up over the house. Oh, interesting. So Nick said, if this is our home, we could get a bunch of rocks and we could stack rocks, stones, to build something that protects our home. So if we put stones all over it, then the hail would hit the rocks and not our house. Okay, that's a good idea. One more, Honesty, what would you do if you were the engineer and you had to come up with a solution to protect our homes and our stuff? So it's like, it's like a roof, but it's but it kind of go like down, like a slide. So when, so when they hit your home, it can just go down. So Honesty says, here's our home. Maybe we build something um, that's kind of slanted down. So then the hail comes and it doesn't hit our house, but then the hail will fall off and go to the ground instead. So good thinking, honesty, good thinking, Nick, good thinking, Kaylee, Angela, lots of good engineers in our class. Here's what we're going to do today. We're going to go through the same process for a different type of weather hazard. Right now you're looking and listening so you know what to do. We have a new type of hazard that you're going to read about and learn about in your independent time. We're going to do the same steps. You're going to watch a video on slide number 12. It's all about <laughs> blizzards. You have two videos to watch. Then you're going to read and highlight 
the impact blizzards have on humans in purple. You should be looking right now at Zoom to see which colors you need to be using. Purple is human life. Then you will highlight in red the impact blizzards have on the environment. After that, after you have read all of our text and highlighted evidence about human damage and environment damage, on slide 19, I want you to fill in what is the damage caused? Thank you. And what is your idea for a solution? Just like we shared out about hailstorms, we heard four or five really good solutions. After you read about blizzards and you identify some of the damage that's caused in our lives or to our environment around us, I want you to tell me what is the problem? What impact does it have? And can you think of a solution? You only need to do those two steps. You do not need to do the last three boxes. If you want to, you can. I'm not asking for voices on. You may do them if you would like to, but I'm asking for you to do the top two boxes. Tell me what the impact is to our lives. Can you think of a solution? Today, you are the engineer. What can you think of that helps protect our property, our bodies, our, our environment, things like that? When you are finished today, you will turn in with the green check. 